What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna to talk about the latest update, the 156. Uh, it has a lot of feature and uh, it's all about automation for us. And automation makes the service writer and the shop owner uh, more powerful to create estimates and invoices. So let's check it out. Make sure you click on help and check for update to make sure you're up to date. Um, we're gonna talk first about fleet statements and the ability to send uh, the statement and all the invoices in seconds. So let's check it out. We're gonna go to fleet statement statement right here, and we're gonna click on the first one, and I'm gonna click on email. When you click on email right here, first it's gonna create the the, the statement for 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 this shop, but I have the option right now to attach all the invoices to the statement. So that's an additional option. Let's do it, and it's really beautiful. Let's let's click on it and see what happens. So what happens is automation. The VIP is going through each invoice, uh, print it out, convert to a PDF file, and finish it. It's right there. Ready, six invoices has been attached. And I'm gonna go ahead and send it to me. And I'm gonna check e my email while I'm doing this. This one has like a lot of files, so it's gonna be a little bit to take to, to be received. All right, I got it, there we go. And uh, that's how it's gonna look like. Um, this is a statement right here, and all the invoices are right there too. So I know a lot of, been, a lot of you have been asking about this, and it's all set, but we have some more stuff. Let's talk about it. All right, another thing I wanna talk about is when you go to general settings right here, and you select your sales tax. If you change any of these, you're gonna have the ability to update canned jobs directly from here. So if I change this to R2 and the parts to R2, or or let's say, you know what, let's just make let's just make labor. I want to charge tax on labor, make it R1. Save, you're gonna have an option to update canned jobs. Update canned jobs, exit. And let's check out the canned jobs right here. Let's take this one for example. And you can look at the labor, and now the labor is charging taxes, which is pretty cool. All right, another thing uh, that we added is if you go to general settings and go to parts markup, and let's say you wanna change your hourly rate, let's say 169.95, and then update, and then it's gonna give you the option to update can jobs. There's two options right here, to either update all of them or update the labor rate that matches the previous labor rate in case, you know, you have some certain jobs that you only sell like for $50 or for like diagnosis and stuff. Um, it, if you click on this option, it will only update the one that matches the 159.95, the previous one. If you click on update all, it's gonna you know change all of them. So let's click on update all, exit, and it should be all set. And uh, let's go back right here. Let me delete, uh, well, you know, let's add another job. Let's say rear pads and rotors, and you see it's gonna be 169.95. So which is, I mean, it's all, again, it's all about automation. Instead of, you know, changing the labor and going to change everyone, it'll be a hassle. The last the one I wanna talk about that we just added is, assume that you, you, you want the job to make it a can job. You can do that right now. All you have to do is click on the job or any job you want, and you can have a menu right here. Click on menu and then clone job as a new can job. So we're gonna click on that, and all you have to do is add a name to it. I'm just gonna call it test um, test 1000, right? And click on save, and that's it. It added everything. So let's just test it out. Delete this job, can job test 1000 and just like that so you can create can jobs in seconds anyway i appreciate it guys until next time thanks for watching